So what I'm going to report on today after 16 years of operation, Lila Bo Bunan, Furavik's Wacky Worm Coaster, has been removed for a 2020 attraction. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chai YouTube channel, Doncaster Born, Bought, Built for Theme Park News. So, before we get started today, make sure you go and check out all of our other videos over the last few days. We have plenty of videos, we've had interactive maze walkthroughs, we've had a vlog from Halloween, we've had an interview with Morgs, make sure you go check that out, it's a pretty cool video, he's a sound guy, sound guy. Um, we've had plenty of news updates from the likes of Europa Park, Alton Towers, Dream World Australia, Knott's Berry Farm, those two from Australia and Knott's, they were uploaded yesterday, this is the start of the weekend of uploads, so make sure you go and check them out uh, when they are uploaded. We've got plenty of news updates to come over this weekend, including this one. Now we all do have other news updates from parks like Ra Ravensburger Spielland, can't pronounce that, uh, which is a smaller park, we've got a news update on their new 2020 attraction, that's going to be coming um, either today or tomorrow. What is coming today, later today, uh, on the Saturday, on the weekend of uploads, uh, we have a news update on the opening year of confirmed for Universal's Epic Universe, that will be coming uh, today, so make sure you stay tuned for that news update. Along with all of that, we've got plenty of stuff to come over the next few weeks, I'm sure. We've still got Thorpe Park. What do they have up their sleeve for 2020? I'm sure we'll find out. I'm sure we're going to have some new stuff uh, from other projects, including announcements, names. Uh, IAPA's coming up next month in November, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, we've got plenty of stuff coming next year as well. I think next year's going to be even bigger than 2019. Obviously, you've got Flamingoland's opening day for their new 10 inversion coaster. They've enjoyed the updates we've done on there. We had special permission to use their pitch in the last construction update. Make sure you go and check that out. Uh, as well as that, Alton Towers and the opening of their new World of David Williams. I'm sure we're going to get some news on what attractions are going to be in that area uh, next year. So make sure you stay tuned for updates on that. Along with all of that then... Uh, we've got plenty of other stuff to come. Tornado Springs opens in May at Poulton's Park. I'll try my absolute best to try and get down there for the opening day. I am a few near that point, so all the work will have been done and I'll be f completely free, so I'll try my best to get down there. It is hard to try and get down right to the bottom of the country, but again, I'll try my best, but I'm not promising anything at the minute. And as well as that, obviously, next year's Halloween's going to be bigger and better than ever. With Alton Towers' anniversary, Hallow Scream's 10th anniversary that we did this year and last year. So I'm sure we're going to have some big plans for next year's Halloween. So we've got plenty of stuff to come on the channel. This theme park news update then is from Furevik, which is a park in Sweden. And now Sweden have been really growing in the theme park industry with the likes of Groen & Lund, opening a brand new B&M Inver, codenamed Blue Harvest for 2021. Leesburg have got some plans up their sleeve as well as some current big coasters like Helix and Valkyria. Along with that you've also got Carl Marden that opened Wildfire and of course you've got a small, a smaller yet still brilliant family park uh, or more family generated park called Skara Summerland. Um, so you've got all these brilliant Swedish parks. Furevik is one of them. This year they added a state of the art bumper cars attraction. The year before was Sweden's first interactive themed ride. And of course in 2017 they opened Fireball, their coaster. So, 2020. Now we are promised a brand new attraction. But to make way for the attraction, the wacky worm Lila Berg Banan that opened in 2003 is actually demolished and a pit of gravel now sits on the site. Now it's not the biggest site in the world, it's not big enough for a thrill coaster unless it's something pretty compact, but from the looks of it it seems that we're going to have this new family or family thrill attraction for the 2020 season. Now we do have some official statements uh, from the park themselves and sort of surrounding the park about what their 2020 attraction could be. Uh, so now we're going to share those statements as well as sharing a picture of the, of the current state of the Leela Berg Banan site uh, right now. So let's have a look at those press release statements then from Furevik themselves. So they have said uh, that soil preparation is already in full swing and it said the new attraction will be ready for the start of the new 2020 season in May. What exactly it will be in attraction will be revealed later but it's clear that it will cause a stir. 
So the park um, are being re re really, really secretive here as to what their attra what attraction they're going to be added. Now, if you're probably wondering what's going to happen to the removed coaster, it's not going to be scrapped. It's going to be sent and it's going to return to an amusement park near London. Um, it's not one of the big ones, don't worry. It's going to be one of those smaller parks, you know, like one of those either... It's not going to be a charming attraction, but it's going to come to one of the, the smallest London parks, like one of those little uh, one-coaster or no-coaster parks, like those little family ones that you sort of see. So it should be interesting to see where that's going to go. And, of course, we'll keep tabs on that and give you future details when we get more details on the replacement attraction for next year coming to Furevik. Uh, but this whole video is all about... Uh, basically going off those statements and actually predicting what type of attraction the park could add. So, from the sounds of it, it seems like this attraction is going to cause a stir. Stir is spinning, uh, so that immediately says to me it could be a spinning flat ride of some sort. Uh, maybe they're going to go for uh, the KMG Afterburner route, or they're going to go for... Um, not not a gyro swing, well maybe a gyro swing, but I, the only negative to a gyro swing is the fact that you've got uh, Loki at Leesburg, which is in the same country, so you'd have to really compete with that, if you know what I mean. So maybe it won't be a gyro swing, and plus it don't really fit with the market uh, that Fury could go for, which is like the family thrill. Gyro swing is a more of a thrilling flat ride, so maybe it wouldn't necessarily fit with the main focus of Furevix's target audience, uh, and it would go more on the other thrill scale, uh, which maybe would... Uh, there's not a lot of thrill people, so unless they want to attract a, a, a broader audience and, and invest in that type of attraction, then maybe that's the way forward. Uh, but it seems like they're just going to stick with that family thrill audience and not go more thrill this time, uh, which is... Kind of why Fireball is one of the biggest rides in the park, and it's like a family thrill coaster. So that's the type of market they're going for with this park. Um, a San Polar Air Race, that would be a pretty good shout. A Sky Flyer or a Sky Roller from Gerstar, again, that would be a pretty good shout because technically it's stirring, it's spinning. Um, so again, wouldn't be a bad shout. Uh, maybe a Top Scan, that would be a good shout. I'll tell you what though, Furevik could buy Ramesses Revenge because it is up for sale. Uh, Ramesse, apparently caught, someone sent me a link on Instagram and I think someone sent a link on one of the YouTube comments as well Ramesses Revenge and Black Buccaneer are, are both up for sale so uh, it seems like both uh, we know Ramesses Revenge is going because they're going to bring a new drop tower in for 2021 in that Forbidden Kingdom section of Chessington World Adventure Resort but Black Buccaneer up for sale is an interesting one because of course it wasn't operating for 2019 they said keep your eyes peeled because it might set the sales again in a new way for next season uh, but it seems like that might not be the case now. Uh, so it is going to be interesting and a very um, very weird situation going on at Chessington with that. But maybe one or both of those attractions could make its way to Furevik. I'd like to see uh, the pirate ship personally, but I believe Furevik's already got one. Comment down below if you know that for certain or not. Uh, if not, I think Black Buccaneer would be the more thrilling version of the pirate ship that they could look for. If they do have one, then I would pick Ramesses Revenge personally and let them add a top spin. Yes, it's a thrilling flat ride, but it's not as thrilling as a gyro swing, for my personal opinion. Because uh, gyro swing is one of the more modern flat rides. Top spin is considered one of the more classic flat rides. So it doesn't have that thrill factor for a modern audience. Which is kind of why one of the reasons why Whipsaw was removed. It wasn't. It was still getting quite popular, but it was... I don't know, it just wasn't operating to full speed. Same with Ramesses Revenge, it was deteriorating and the end was near for that ride. Ripsaw was a bit more shocking because it was out of the blue. Ramesses, we kind of knew his time was, the, the days were being numbered for Ramesses Revenge at Chessington. So, I would like to see Furevik buy that ride, refurbish it, get the manufacturing to help refurbish it, get it back on tip top shape and bring that ride in. Uh, again, it all depends on the size of the site as well because it's not the biggest site in the world, but it's still a decent size for an, a, a flat ride or a family attraction of some sort. Flat ride or family attraction. Either one of those, but I think with the cause of stir, it sounds like they've got something bigger than we thought planned, unless it's just a, a marketing slogan for a family attraction. It, it could go either one or two ways with this. So it's going to be interesting to follow the developments on this. Uh, comment down below what do you think Fury of It's going to add in the uh, next season on that site. Of course, if it is a flat ride or something of significant scale uh, that's not coaster related, then I'll bring it to you on the Europe Attractions 2020 analysis video, uh, which will be coming online in the new year, along with the rest of them, so stay tuned for all of that. 
But for now guys, make sure you comment down below your thoughts and theories, like the video if you've loved it, subscribe for more theme park news updates and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Coach Chow, keep learning the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day my friends.